Oh, hey everyone, this is Two Girls, One Let's Play of Telling Lies. Telling Lies. My name's Mari. And I'm Stacy. Oh shit, I'm already in. I already am invested. This feels like a very 90s European film. Does that make sense? With the way it's being, with the credits and everything? This is made by the same guy who made her story. And no, that's not lint on your screen. That's just the, what the game looks like. <laughs> I Karen! Think it, I think it's to apply her computer screen. Yeah, I just didn't want anyone to start wiping their screen. Just play her story or played her story very much recommend it I'll put it in the annotations at the end but oh oh it's very much similar I yes yeah. we should search love oh this is very similar I like that yeah so video clips we might have to write down all the things again but for now let's just be chill mm. oh there's a history now thank God because in the other one you didn't have a history mm. But her story and bookmarks. was... And bookmarks. So, I really liked her story. It was definitely a ride. Neither of us really have, have... We haven't really researched into it too much, right? Into this game? Yeah. So, what I know... The only thing that I know about this is that it's, like, recorded Skype conversations, but only one side of it. Mm -hmm. That's all I know. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some sort of secret... I mm -hmm. guess that we're supposed to try and figure out by watching these, um, just like in her story, you can you search different words, and what it does is it pulls up clips based on those words. Mm -hmm. I'm just going based off of what I know from her story. This isn't mm -hmm. something, um, and but much like in that other game, when you search, like even if that word pulls up like 30 different videos, it'll only show you the first five. So you can watch those, but you have to keep searching different words to get more of the story. Definitely seeing a lot of similarities in that you can see a face reflected in the screen and the stuff like that. So this is a more modern her story, I guess. I guess we should start off with the sexy one, because that's popping out at me, unless you want to start with something Sure, else. unless it makes more sense to start chronologically. Yeah, if you want. I've only ever been in love once. Uh, it was with a girl I met when I was 18, but I was too young and naive to handle it properly. And I guess I still carry a torch for her, which makes me an incurable romantic or underdeveloped emotionally. I'm a loyal friend. I like girls with nice smiles. Nice smiles. Oh, are we missing? Okay. We're missing the other half of the conversation. Yeah. Well, uh, the psych profile says so. Mm hmm. Yeah, like horoscopes in that world. This feels like Garfield minus Garfield. Have you ever seen those comic strips? Where someone just deletes Garfield out of the comic strips? I am going to decorate an apartment. Garfield minus Garfield? So somebody decided to take all the Garfield strips one by one and just take Garfield out of it. So it's just the owner yelling at himself. Uh-huh. It's really funny. <laughs> it just sounds like this person's just talking to themselves. Yeah, so... Like, so yeah. that it has that same vibe where someone's just talking. Mm -hmm. And logically, I know that there's another part there's of the There's another half of the conversation that we're not seeing. I think, so, anytime I've ever heard someone say something like that where they're like, oh, like, this person that I never got over, it's always when... Somebody that I 
dated or did not date <laughs> looks me up on Facebook <laughs> 10 years later and is like, I've just always thought about our like friendship and it like blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I did not remember that you existed. I'm sorry. NSA retina is an NSA. Oh, NSA reporting tool. That's so what we're using. I also wanted to add that sometimes I think when people say, oh, I've never been in love. I wonder, because now that I'm old, I think there's all these times I thought I was in love, but maybe that wasn't love. And now I'm like, what's love? Oh, no. Mm. <laughs> and so I think, I don't know if that makes, he says maybe that makes me emotionally immature. But at the same time, I wonder maybe you're mature enough to know when you're not in love. But that's just me giving the benefit of the doubt. My personal opinion is that you know when you're in love when you're in it, mm -hmm. but sometimes after the fact, you don't look back on it and feel the same way. <sighs> Makes sense. Because once the person is revealed to be a shithead, you don't love them anymore. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I mean, like, what, like when you're in the relationship, you're you have the benefit of like fully feeling all the emotions and feelings. Mm -hmm. And once you get outside of that, or sometimes even like once you fall in love with somebody else, you're like, Oh no, like this is what I want. Not that other person. That makes sense. You know, sometimes I look back and I wonder, was that love or was that me having issues? Does that make sense? And I think that's totally valid, but I also don't want to like, Invalidate other people's love? Well, invalidate the fact that, like, what matters is, like, when you're when you're in it, you know? Yeah, makes sense. And it's okay to kind of be like, that was a period of time in my life, and, like, how I felt about it at the time was valid, mm -hmm. but I feel differently now, mm. you know? Yeah. I just, I look back and I wonder, was I in love or was I insecure or was I dealing with this because I couldn't, whatever? But then I All have to remind can be true. Yeah. Then I have to remind myself that love is a undefinable concept in which chemicals make your brain think things. And mm -hmm. so I guess it's just valid. So I think we should read this. Yeah. Retina is an NSA reporting tool that is focused on the col collation and organization of video and associ associated metadata through collaboration with the FVEY and other sig SIGINT functions of the U.S. intelligence apparatus. The tool has been used as a valuable tool in counterterrorism work. Analysts with a work approval ident may log into Retina and perform searches against stored metadata. Data sets will be confined to subsets associated with the approval code, ensuring your blah, blah, blah. blah. Um, although collection of data is done in bulk, in order to safeguard the privacy of the users whose data is collected, records may only be retrieved by first searching and matching terms with their, within their metadata. So it's what we were talking about, the search system. Mm -hmm. Searches may be limited according to warrant scope in order to prevent dragnet retrieval of data. To remove these restrictions, an analyst must request clearance from their superior and present evidence that proves the eminence of threat. Um, Basic use of retina. Once an analyst has been able, been given access to a data subset of retina store, they may retrieve records by entering search terms. These should be operational in nature, target name, code words, specific operation vocabulary. If speech has been recorded independently, it may be possible to retrieve cooperation by using the specific words spoken as the me metadata search. So this is these are instructions on how to use the search tool. But there's also some story elements in it because it seems as if this person has access to government level stuff. Yep. But I wonder, since they're working from a home computer that doesn't seem to be a work computer, does what do they have official access to this? Uh -huh. Because usually when people have access to databases like this, they are not allowed to access it at home or on a non-work computer. Mm -hmm. But maybe this is a work computer because the desktop seems really clean. <laughs> so this is basically, basically this is supposed to be used for counterterrorism work. Um, it's a specific search tool in order to avoid false positives and dragnetting. Word order must match that in the records to be retrieved. So if you want to do a query with multiple words, it has mm -hmm. to match the order. Okay, I'm going to read some keywords. Uh, George Washington, an that, analyst. That's just an example of oh, okay. how to search. Do, 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 places, uh, for example, 
Yeah. These through other signing workers a group. Okay. Okay, don't forget your plain... Okay, so it's saying don't use long search terms. Well, you can, but it's saying that if you enter a long search term, it will only pull up things that match that exactly. Right. Record integrity. Oh. It seems as if these are interrupted, like neither party consented to this. Or a source for the information provider is an NSA provider or otherwise part of the Keystore program. Most of the video content of interest to Retina users will be taken from VOIP platforms. In these cases, the content is stored in its raw form. In a group conversation, each recipient's video is compressed and transmitted as a discrete package. Does a collator editorialize these videos? Larger conversations must be tracked across multiple records. So that's just saying that like none of these videos is going to give you an entire conversation. Whoa, but it did it just get blurry for you? Yeah, because it's it's focusing on her and then back on the thing. So if I click, it's gonna focus oh, back. God, I thought I, I was like, oh no. So in case you don't know, the reason why that one guy what is like, uh, what is his name? The guy who whistleblowed on the CIA, CIA for collecting Edward, data. Edward Snowden. No, I think that's the guy who owns WikiLeaks. No, that's oh. Julian Assange. Okay, Edward Snowden. The reason why he got in trouble was because he told everybody that any data that goes across U.S. borders, I'm putting this simply, is allowed to be collected by the CIA. And that I means... I thought it was the NSA. Well, okay, three letters, you know, whatever. Yeah. And um, Basically, they're tracking all your shit. They're tracking all your shit. So I feel like this is similar in that without permission, the U.S. is legally or illegally taking people's video chats and recording them for terrorist counter-terrorist reasons and this is just very similar to that situation where people are doing that and I remember reading an article where they found out that people who were collecting this data were keeping people's nudes mm -hmm. and sharing them throughout the workplace and laughing or keeping them or being whatever mm -hmm. so let's say you think that you're sending an email or a text with your nipple in it or whatever part of your body that you want to share intimately with another person. And they also live in the United States and you think, oh, I'm fine, but what if you're sending it and then the server that you're sending it through is in another country? It, well, if it goes through a server in another country, legally the United States can take it and keep it for themselves for any reason whatsoever. Yeah, and it's so not... Sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, let's, like... Oh, sorry. Yeah. Because, um, so you can use bookmarks to organize, tags can be defined, and then uh, applied to clips to sort them, and the history will show you what you've viewed. Sorry, taking so long, just trying to be thorough, but I understand that people well, we want to get things done. Well, we can, uh, drop in some more information as we go, I think, too. Love them. They, they love us? Wait, it says it's 4 minutes and 22 seconds, but... Yeah, wait. Yeah. Love them. Hmm. Is that what that is, or is that the time in the conversation? Oh, a timestamp. That yeah. makes sense. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I totally get it. Right. Love you. Is she peeing? <laughs> that's what she's I peeing. She's peeing. She's sitting next. To, she's sitting on the toilet next to the tub. I think she's filling the tub, no. but it definitely looks like a peeing situation. No, she's peeing. Dude, did you hear the water? Really Play this again. No. <laughs> Play it again. I can't remember how to the instructions for. Yeah. Love you. <laughs> she put the fan on to cover the fact she was peeing, yeah. but we could still hear. We can still hear it. We know what's up. If you're really close to someone, sometimes when I'm on the phone with someone, I'll just put my my thing on mute and just pee and when while they're talking. Oh. And I then only, unmute. I, I only do that if I am not close to somebody. If I'm close to them, I will just pee and let them hear it. <laughs> I think it just depends because it's not about closeness. It's just about do I want them to hear me peeing right now? Yeah. 
but no, I, I've talked to you and I just didn't want to interrupt what you were talking about. Yeah. And make it about my peeing. It's that's true. It does <laughs> kind of matter on the context of the conversation. <laughs> you know, if, but like if someone's talking about something serious and I really have to pee, but I don't want to interrupt them, I'll, I'll just, just mute myself, pee, and then unmute. Do you know you, you know what I always do? My trick is like if I'm in a serious conversation with somebody, I'll just ask them a question that I know has a really long answer, and then I mute while they talk through the whole thing. But actively listening. Yeah, actively listening <laughs> while peeing. So if you are talking to someone who's talking about something serious or you have a crush on them, these are your two options. <laughs> these are your options. Yeah. P hacks. I love complicated men. So what is on the menu? What was that? That was the camera moving. Oh. A talker. It's not a vibrating butt plug, I know. Well, I can get them. Got all excited. <laughs> so, what made you pick me? You like your girls a little gothic. Snow White evokes something a little dark. It is shorthand for asphyxiation or sleep fantasy. Oh. You know, I have a kinky side. Don't you? What do you do, Prince Charming? Short for work? You have uh, serious eyes, but I see something a little wild inside. Well, no one is listening. Tell me. Like scat, are you into that? Mm. I'm just trying to like. I wonder if they recorded these as like. Really? Well, how do I know you are telling the truth? I like the background sounds so you can get a feeling of where she is. Yeah. She's probably in a city. Mm -hmm. There's a dog barking. It just you, you get the city sounds. Yeah. And That's they're always honest with sex workers. Even in real life. They save their lives for the people that met her. Their wives, their bosses. You are married. Other things we can talk about that you wouldn't say to your wife. Your session's almost over and we haven't even fooled around yet. You like to fool around? Okay, you are the boss. Will you come back some other time? I like you. Goodbye, my prince. Also, I made money just from having a conversation. You know, valid joke. Yeah. But um, sometimes it's more energy to do the conversation than the show, you know? Yeah. I mean, well, it, I feel like it's a different kind of energy. Yeah. Because, like, yeah. 
to my honey I'll croon love's tune honeymoon keeps it shining in June your silvery beams will bring love's dreams will be cut on soon by the silvery moon funny. I only sing when I'm in the dark or in the bath. <laughs> All right. Maybe. You know what I find interesting about this? None of these people are wearing headphones and there's no mic feedback. Big like, catch. Immersion broken. I mean, I caught that with, like, the second one, but I was kind of like, you know, like, you can't you can't do that and not hear the person's, like, voice back through your own mic. Immersion so, broken. Yeah. One out of ten. F. Your silvery beams will bring love's dreams. We'll be cuddling soon. By the silvery moon. Funny. I only sing when I'm Okay, so it's just I'm in the dark or in the back. A little longer. What? what There's is... two clips that I could have picked and one's just <laughs> at a different right. timestamp. Oh. Maybe. What would you like to pick next? Ugh. Oh. Oh, we have loud neighbors in the game. Oh. What? Can you not hear them? No, this is from in the game. That's not us. Oh. No, I couldn't hear it. Oh. Yeah, we got over, loud over our actual neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what would you like to pick next? Um Whoa. Voila, here's your partial dump of the retina before they redact the, redact the whole thing. This is what came up against your approval code. I'm not sure this is everything you want, as I'm guessing so some of it is already petition partitioned. partitioned against different codes. But it seems to cover the peri period of time you wanted, and I recognize two of the faces. Now I understand why you want to get this stuff. When you use the up loader oh. it will erase the hard drive so please do that before they take you into custody which they will you know this right it wouldn't it would wouldn't hurt to also burn dissolve, dissolve. or pulverize the hardware so we got Wait, that's how she has this she doesn't have access to this oh dear karen this is probably the hacker's like yeah. <laughs> signature. So we don't have access to the we don't have access to the database. This is like just a a dump. Yeah, a partial dump of. Okay. What's with all these games in solitaire? Well, that one I at least know how to play. <laughs> the other one I was like I don't understand what's what. Welcome to Castle OS. Castle is an open source. Okay, great. DVD burner, blah blah. I have to use the computer's hard disk even if there is some swap space. The only storage space using Castle is in RAM, which is on a, oh, I, this must be a program that does not want to have permanent space ever. Mm -hmm. So for hacksaws. Uh, Castle does not protect against compromised hardware. Avoid, avoid using on untrusted systems. Castle doesn't encrypt documents by default. Castle doesn't encrypt the subject or the other headers of your encrypted email. Castle doesn't magically separate your different contextual identities. So this is an operating system built around keeping things not permanent. Uh, yeah, around not saving anything, basically, so that everything disappears when you close it down. Well, okay, so what? where do you think we should use next? Um, let's see. We didn't get anybody's names, right? Yeah. Um, try putting, I don't know, put, put it in, like, dark. 
<laughs> you just want to get in there. I don't think Dark is going to come up with anything super cool. Because she says, I only sing in the dark. Yeah. So yeah, it shows us which one's which. What? Okay. I'll take maybe. Maybe it's good. Maybe. Okay. So at first it seemed like he was saying, I love you to that nurse woman. I assume she's a nurse. She could be a doctor. My gender bias probably made me think she was a nurse. Um, Wait, why did you think she was a medical professional? Because they were wearing scrubs. Oh, scrubs. Yeah. Um, I think that he is talking to her because he says, you're in the dark. And she says, I only sing in the dark. Does that make sense? I don't know that. Well, they're on the same day at the same time. So, yeah, it looks like. See? Mm -hmm. Look at the. I don't like the dark. It's creepy when it's just me. Good catch on dark, Stacy. Thanks. Ha. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Got my keys. One, two, three, and when I turn this last one off, it goes completely dark. Four. This seems important okay. somehow. By the light of the silvery moon. I want to spoon to my honey I'll croon love's tune honeymoon keeps it shining in Yeah, we got it. I only sing when I'm in the dark. Off goes completely dark. So, here, go back. Mm -hmm. So, see, it'll show us which ones we've watched, but that's interesting because when you popped it open, it had, like, an additional clip there. Well, you're scared of the dark, right? Oh. See, I, I told you, I warned you this about guy... that double espresso. This dude's chatting up multiple chicks. Or people, sorry. Could be bisexual. Understood. A nightmare which swims above my head, a ghost sits upon my chest, I'm Drowning deep in my bed. Whoa, that was strong stuff. Are you used to used to sing that in your band? Oh uh, yeah. What was your name? Oh. Well, that's adorable. Uh, I was at 16, I was getting pulled over for a DUI, but then running away from the cop and totaling my parents' truck, it was pretty bad. Yikes. My father, who was a cop in his own right, uh, he did everything he could to try to get me out of jail, but he never spoke about it, actually. And then I left about a week after that. And everybody had all these expectations of me going into the force because everyone in my family's a cop. But it was actually the uh, court-appointed therapist. She said that that DUI was my way of ruling out a career in law enforcement, so. You know?
You don't think I look like a cop? Okay. So what is it you think I do? Maybe, kinda. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, 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 come on. This is so uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> I, this think is I'm, like so. Like a gigolo or something? Yeah. Wait, no. that makes sense. No, I, I was a movie producer. I had a nice boat. I did. I feel like a movie no, producer no, is the technical. No, these were all like, yeah, straight to DVD knockoffs. Uh, you know, we we get people to invest in them so they can meet the actresses. You know, do a walk on. He's a porn director. The taxes at the end of the year, we sold essentially a dream. I don't know that he does porn, well, yeah, but I think so no, I think he's a porn producer. Go crazy. Yeah. Mm, maybe. And uh, my. Uh, and a friend of mine died last year. Um, eh, it, was, it was an overdose. Um, it was an accident. It was stupid. So um, I, I just needed some perspective, and I I, I don't want to become a cop. But my father. <laughs> he's, he. He stood for something, you know? Does that sound scuzzy? No? Too much eye contact. Yes, yeah, a lot. I need I to look away. Real this is also just a really long video clip in general. What about you? Your family. Was your mom like a singer or something? No? I have a feeling this guy. Oh, okay. I was thinking, you know, you, but older, kind of a grungy hippie look. <laughs> I have to look away from the screen because this is like too much for yeah, me. Yeah, can't deal with the like, eye contact. Yeah, like this is too much. <laughs> I feel like I can trust you. This guy, I don't know. Maybe it's all the eye contact. This is just too much for me. Yeah. I think that all of these are like, so his are not the only ones. I feel uncomfortable with all of the longer clips. And I feel like it's just because, like, you're seeing one side of a conversation. Mm -hmm. I, so, it just seems to me, obviously I could be wrong, but he was saying that he had clients come out and meet the actresses and stuff. It seems, and it was all straight to DVD ripoffs. Even if it wasn't pornography, it seems like, oh, we had clients come out and meet the actresses. It was selling the dream. And I was like, huh. Okay. Yeah. Well, regardless what? regardless of what mo what type of producer he was, I still feel like the the end goal is the same, which is basically like we get people to pay us money so that they can meet pretty girls. You know, the best possible scenario is getting them to meet the pretty girls. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I feel like with the context of current events that this game might be going a little bit further than that. But 
I don't know. It's just a feeling I get. I don't know if it's porn or not, but it definitely is the skeezy part end of it was having Clyde's come out to meet the yeah. people. Yeah, well, I mean, he might also be kind of like... Oops. Dancing around the fact that it's, uh, you know... Not the, that prostitution's bad, but it's kind of bad when somebody is exploiting other people. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, I feel like that's why, you know, there's a big difference between, like, having it, having somebody, like, kind of in charge of their own stuff mm -hmm. and, like, able to make decisions for themselves and somebody else uh, kind of taking control. Yeah, because it's definitely a situation where people can be easily exploited and the law does not protect them, so it kind of sucks. Or, yeah, just, I think sex workers are cool and should be able to do what they do. It's a job like any other job, but at the same time, I don't like it when people take on a managerial role and exploit that and know that they can't do anything about it. So yeah. I just hope in the future and stuff that we can do more for people who are taken advantage of like that. That's, like, the whole argument of, like, the whole, like, legalization and, mm -hmm. and you know, Yeah, because if it's stuff. legalized, then people have more rights and have the ability to defend themselves. Yeah, because it, then it's like, oh, like, something happens, I can call the cops, and they're supposed to be looking out for my rights. There's a higher chance of them looking out for my rights. Better chance. Better yeah. chance. Yeah, there's a better chance. <laughs> better chance. There was a movie I watched called Cam. It was about a mm -hmm. woman who is a cam girl, which I really liked. I liked the concept of it, but when she called the cops to tell them, hey, I'm like having trouble. I'm a cam girl and someone's stealing my identity. Mm -hmm. They didn't take her seriously and they kind of sexually harassed her a little bit. Yeah. And that's kind of, it sucks. That would really suck. Mm -hmm. um, to any cam girls or sex workers watching this, hey. We support you. We support you. So, cool. Yeah. Or cam guys, sorry. Or cam people. <laughs>